about to give out uh, the Jimmy Pollock Award. This beautiful Scottish quake, as it's known, is in memory of Jimmy Pollock, who was a man who worked on this TV show for three decades. And he did every role. Uh, in particular, he was probably comedian as much as anything. A father figure. He literally was a father to one of us. And he's just, he was a great man. If you ever, you ever walk, look back in time and watch uh, Budapest, 89, he's the guy who gets a stone dropped on his foot. He was a coach that year. Anyway, without any further ado, this is the Jimmy Pollock Award for personality, for ambassadorship, if you like, and also just for being such a great member of the Strongman family. So, a couple honorable mentions first, because there was a lot of voting, and there's a few guys we just want to give a thank you to, because they are just are great personalities and good people. So, first of all, uh, I'd like to mention, I, don't, I can't see him anymore, but is Rob Kearney there? Where's Rob Kearney? Where are you, baby? Come on, give a little wave. Rob Kearney is a man who's fought back from a horrific injury recently, and he is known by his moniker, you, he is the world's strongest gay. He's a man who's had much, much more difficulty than the rest of us, I tell you. And he's had one of the few professional sportsmen who's ever had the bravery to step up and say exactly who he is. We are very proud to have you all in our family. Thank you for coming back. We love you, brother. Okay, join us out here. Stay out here. Go on, we're a family. The other guy mentions I want to make, very briefly, please, Mitchell Hooper. Where did we get this guy from? Yeah. Where did we drag him in from? He's a madman. He's the most entertaining strongman we've had in, I don't know, a very long time. He's outrageously intelligent as well and super talented. But he couldn't win this because he's probably going to win the final. This guy is that good. So be careful, folks. My last honorable mention is going to go to the first ever South American who's come here to compete in 45 editions. This guy finished the last event and then asked if he could help with the equipment crew. <laughs> He's just a good man, a really good man. And you are very welcome here in the World's Strongest Man family. Let's hear it for Chile's Manuel Angulo! He also has the toughest face known to man. And I'm signing him up for uh, hopefully a couple more Bond films. He'll be the good guy. <laughs> he really is a good guy. So now then, our Jimmy Pollock Award uh, in 2022 is going to go to a man that Jimmy knew. In fact, if you've been to World's Strongest Man any time in the last, oh, I don't know, two centuries, you would know this guy. He's been around a long time. He's been around longer than the VW Beatles that we were walking with. They were built in 67. This guy was built in 66. He's been here 17 times before. He is the most humble, decent soul you will ever meet. He kicked everybody's butt in the last event. I mean, everybody's butt. Two minutes and 30 seconds. He's the grip king. He was born in Grenada. He represents Great Britain. Put your hands together for Mark Felix. Fifty-six years old, receives the Jimmy Pollock Quake for being an out-and-out -out good egg. Will you come back and compete one more time for us? Definitely. I want ten more, he says. Mark. How, how's your experience been? You, obviously, World's Strongest Man is pretty dear to you. Any words to say? I just want to say thanks to Jimmy Pollock for what he has um, done for the World's Strongest Man. And I want to say thanks, World's Strongest Man, for keep bringing me back every year. You guys are amazing. Thank you. Ah, thank you very much. We love you, Jimmy Pollock. Thank you to the World's Strongest Man, guys. Let's all get a photo together. All the honorable mentions. And Dr. Evil as well. There we go. I'll, I'll stoop down as is necessary. Get out of the photo, someone shouts. How about the one? <laughs> <laughs>
Thank you. Thank you very much, guys. That was beautiful. The man who won it last year, where is he? Terry Hollands, give us a wave. There he is. Nine finals in a row. How many was it? 14 World's Strongest Bands? Well, Mark Phoenix has done 17. He is the King of Kings. There we go. Thank you, folks.